Hi guys, I'm Lynn and we're at the Savoy Cinema in Dublin for the premiere of Brooklyn and we're going to chat to the cast and crew. Hi Saoirse, I'm Lynn from Film Ireland, it's nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. So can you tell me, um, what drew you to the project initially? Why did you pick this Irish film? Because I'm sure you get loads all the time. Yeah, initially... Um, the script was just brilliant. The script was one of the best scripts I'd ever read. Um, it wasn't overly dramatic. Everything was really underplayed. Um, I liked, I loved the challenge of playing an Irish person and I was writing for the right kind of role to come up. And when Ailish came up, I thought, you know, she's so kind of, she's got such a strong sense of self, but you know, an awful lot changes around her and she kind of adapts to that and grows because of it. And I knew um, just to play something as kind of naturalistic as that would, would be a challenge, so. And I really loved and really enjoyed the dinner scenes because you got to work with Julie Walters. What was that like? I just thought about dinner ladies the whole time. That's all I pictured was dinner ladies. Um, we were sick as stew by the end of it, I have to say. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, we were sick as stew by the end of it, but like it was brilliant. It was a load of girls around a table. We all had fun. We were all tired at the same time. We were all giddy at the same time. and um, It was great. It was, you know, as I've said, it's very unusual to have just a group of women in a scene together and not have it be centred around a man or, or anything like that, you know. Can you tell me, is there anything that differs in challenge-wise when you're trying to do a period piece versus a contemporary piece? Yeah, um, it's, it's very tough. I mean, for a few reasons. One is it's, it's very tough on the budget, and it's, um, if you want to go after authenticity, which we did do, both in the locations and the look and the feel of it, um, you have to be very imaginative, you know. And, and secondly, it puts a challenge on the whole thing because, you know, I never felt it. It was really, in a way, um, a classic period film. I wanted it to feel contemporary, so the style in which we shot it isn't um, necessarily a throwback. It gets more classical as it goes on, as the style of filmmaking. But the, the start of it is very simple and rather gentle, almost handheld quality to it. Oh, I just love Dolores. I love her honesty, and I love that she has no filter. She just says exactly what she thinks. And uh, she's not afraid to go for what she wants. She wants to meet a nice man and make some money, and yeah. And what is the work process like on set? Do you guys um, have much input or is it all from script? Or do you improv at all? How does that work? You no, know, this script was so beautifully written and the story is so beautifully written that you, we, didn't, we didn't stray off script at all. It was, it was, Nick Hornby's adaptation is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the best film scripts I've ever read. It's absolutely terrific. You're not an actress and you're not female, but you write women really well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so what's your secret? Well, um, I've, I've had some luck the last few years and, and um, the incentive for me is that there's so little apparently for actresses to do that if you write a good part for an actress, you get the best actresses in the world. Um, and, you know, if, if you think of the male equivalent, say, Robert Downey, if I wrote a script for Robert Downey, he'd go, yeah, I like it, but I'm going to get $10 million to play. Uh, and, 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 the, and the women have got nothing to do, and they're incredible. And, and it's such a huge incentive. I worked with Saoirse this year, Reese Witherspoon last year, um, Kerry Mulligan, and, and, you know, who wouldn't want to write films for those people? Firstly, congratulations on the book on the film. Thank well you very done. much. Thank you. Thank you. Are you very excited about it? Well, I think the film is very good. I, I think the screenplay is, is very, very cleverly done. Really brilliant. You can see not, not, um, that there's a wonderful sort of emotional intelligence um, in the way Nick has done it. And that emotional intelligence is followed through with John Crowley in the way he does it. And then Saoirse's face can manage in a few seconds, well, it takes me 30 pages, you know, 30 pages of hard work writing sentences she can do in just the way she lets a shadow across her face so you can get a sort of level of feeling from her. So it's, it's wonderful to have one of the great actresses of the age, you know, working with your work. Can I ask what drew you to the script? Obviously you read the book first. Yeah, well my mum was born in Ireland and she went to New Zealand in 1951, the same year that um, Eilish went to Brooklyn. So it was very much her story, my story, and millions of other people's stories as well. And for producers, what is it like, the task of taking on a project like this? How much of your life? It was massive, because it was shot in 
We shot in three countries, two continents. Uh, it's period. Yeah, it was massively challenging on a tiny budget. So that's it for the premiere of Brooklyn. And look at it. Who's in the background? Only oh, Bono. Bono just showed up. Me and you two, we're going to have a drink. We're going to have a drink later. Yeah. Because I'm exactly what they're looking for. Get it? Okay, never mind. Okay, see you later, Stephen. Bye.